So it is the new year 2024 and honestly we have a long way ahead of us in terms of Dokkan. We have potentially the sync to look forward to at the end of the year, 9th anniversary, worldwide 2024. Maybe this year could be the uh, 400 mil download celebration right instead of the actual worldwide. We'll see how things happen. Um, but of course with that, there are a lot of Dokkan Fest that, you know, would release this year, obviously, right? At least one or two every month. So there's a lot we get expect. I mean, there's a lot of characters that need representation still, I feel. There's a lot of characters that need just a new version of them. In fact, that we haven't seen in years, potentially, right? So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at that, look at that, that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and actually bring up the character list here and just in general uh, i'm actually going to go through your guys's responses and then if there's anyone that i feel like should be mentioned i will go ahead and bring that up my, myself um but if i were to choose something right now that i just want to see this year just in general i'm thinking a like a i'm not sure like a bojack movie super saiyan 2 gohan I think a new version of that would be sick like of Bojack or some villain like Demon King Piccolo getting an LR. Those are my like really big choices or a Dokkan Fest for like an actual Demon King Piccolo because the only one we have is that banner unit one. Yeah, I would say a Demon King Piccolo and then maybe like a, re a redo of that Int Kid Goku. Maybe he could have a stand by Int Tien or something. We'll see. They, they could make something interesting. Yeah, like a stand, like a Kid Goku stand by into tn and then at the finish skill it's the kid goku doing the like you know the final punch he finishes dim king piccolo with i think that would be a pretty good one um honestly but let's go ahead and take a look at what you guys are thinking we should see for dokkan fest or lrs all right so uh we see platy with a couple of responses here so baby again baby is definitely a character that is worth seeing a Dokkan Festival baby, I mean, baby Vegeta has never received a Dokkan Festival. Uh, he's only gotten this yellow coin LR during the fourth anniversary, and that is like baby Vegeta specifically. This is the last time we got a card for baby Vegeta. This was in 2019, February 2019. That was the fourth anniversary, and we're about to get to the ninth anniversary, man. Five years ago. We got a Dokkan Fest, uh, not Dokkan Fest, an LR baby, and we never have received a Dokkan Festival version of baby. We got a bad unit for him this year, and it's like, if you want to count this like as a new baby, sure, but I, I, I don't want to count this as like a baby Vegeta. Uh, we, when we talk about baby, we're thinking about baby Vegeta, Super Baby Two, you know, even Super Baby One, not just the baby at the end of gt that gets one shot by super saiyan 4 goku right that's not the baby we're thinking of so hopefully we do get a new baby this year i think again he can help a lot of different teams artificial life forms you know revenge category maybe we can get a 200 leader skill transformation boost maybe we can get a new leader terrifying conquerors is a team that could use more target goku space traveling warriors gt bosses like all of these villain teams this guy is on and he would help all of those villain teams um like like <laughs> if we take a look at it terrifying conquer is one of the villain teams that has a 200 percent with mod jr uh target goku i guess you know there is the 17s i guess um that that's a villain team that they could build up space traveling warriors is a villain team that they could build up we have turles as a leader for now gt bosses is a team that needs help as well like all these villain teams could use the options and these are like the main 200 percent leader scope villain teams right now you know maybe this guy could lead in human deeds this is not a bad villains team either there are options here that could work um but i don't know well we'll just have to see how they take things but hopefully baby does get a dokkan festival this year i think that is definitely also one of my higher choices if i was going to make like a like a top 10 tier list of baby i think that would be a good one uh broly again a lot of people did, did like this comment so obviously broccoli for broly right broly um where's this guy again he hasn't received a dokkan fest since int broly right the int broly that came out in 2020 so 2021 actually so it has been 
it's gonna be three years at this point since our last like Dragon Ball Z Broly character. Yep, that is the last one we received. Now, good news, I do think that it's highly likely we'll see a Broly this year. And the reason why I think it's highly likely we will see a Broly this year is because of the fact that this guy is, I mean, assuming tech Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3 Goku easy ace this celebration, leading into anniversary, this character will be the oldest character that does not have an Extreme Z Awakening, which is kind of crazy, honestly, that this character will be like the oldest character without an Extreme Z Awakening at this point. Um, but it will be true. And that's a 2019 character, right? In the middle of 2019. I and mean, even in Global, he came out earlier. So this character, I mean, could be really, really good with an EZA. But because this guy has got an EZA, I mean... Unless they easy a him during a really random movie celebration, like to be fair, last year Gohan and Goten, they easy during the um the Turtle celebration for some reason. It's like okay, well that's that's really weird, but I would I would think Broly would easy a during some Broly themed celebration, which would be really cool. Maybe even Saiyan days Broly themed, but um my hope actually for this year is worldwide. I think one of the good choices that they could do is double broly movie dragon ball z broly specifically because i think dragon ball super broly that i don't know he's deserving of more of getting something because the last character he got and basically like the only ones we got were the egl broly here and then we have the wrathful broly uh not the wrathful Broly, the um physical super saiyan full power broly right these are the only two we have besides the broly trio which people I, I would say people wouldn't count that as like an actual just broly character right that's a trio of characters right so i mean this guy came out in 2018 this character also came out 2019 2018 19 for global but you guys get the point um i feel like this character deserves something but i i could see like nine uh tenth anniversary being like a lot of fusions but at the same time maybe part two could be broly or something like that right we'll we'll see how they want to handle that as well but i'm thinking like if they do like movie 8 into movie 10 that would be pretty cool is my thought process like movie 8 into movie 10 we could get gohan and goten like um like maybe they could just redo that as a dokkan fest gohan i guess that could be fair super saiyan goku versus broly like another super saiyan goku maybe maybe if we would have a different name because of some sort of mechanic right maybe it could be the same with um with gohan maybe it's like uh like what if there's like some type of like assist mechanic is what they they call it and it's like called assist and then it's basically like you see how the characters powered up goku and then you see how gohan and then goten join into the fight like what if it's like it's like a reskin active skill but it's assist and then the characters join in and because of that they have different names who knows i don't know this threw that out there <laughs> like unit super attacks but like actually like it affects like the king they call it assist even though it would basically be like a transformation um i don't know that's something i just randomly thought of right now and then we have obviously the two brolies one would be like transforming the other one would be legendary super saiyan only could be interesting we'll see we'll see how they think how they do that right uh but broly definitely deserves to get something i mean it's been years since just z and super broly deserve to get something for sure lord slug we'll spend a little less time with lord slug than broly but uh lord slug one more if would it be an l yeah lord slug hasn't gotten like anything i think a dokkan festival for lord slug would be good they might give him like a yellow corn alarm just like in some random celebration like i could see i could see the possibility uh, we get like I don't know some some random Dokkan Fest, like a Dokkan Fest Hercule or something. I think is a character that like you know would be an April Dokkan Fest, and then Lord Slug would be like an April LR, and then like they're completely unrelated, and then it's like here's the Lord Slug buffs. Well, you know we would a hundred percent prefer him to get a banner, like an actual Dokkan Festival banner, and then have a banner unit, right? Like, even if it's, like, his three henchmen together, I think, as a banner unit, would be really good. They would be in Terrifying Conquerors. Maybe they would really support Slug. Maybe we could even get just another Namekian as a banner unit, right? That would also work just fine. But I think Lord Slug in general, I think, would really like to get something. And, you know, hopefully he'd be really good. Again, he's on a lot of teams. If we get, like, just giant form Slug. This guy doesn't have an easy A, huh? 
Maybe maybe if it's just like normal Lord Slug even, but like, you know, giant form Lord Slug again. Terrifying conquerors, space traveling warriors, inhuman deans, booby bosses. Like these are all teams that could use the help. And again, inhuman deeds and needs a new lead. Maybe he could be a power witch's leader. And then like an extreme class power which is leader could be quite interesting and then it's like okay a villainous team you could throw bomb on like what if this guy's like space traveling warriors in human deeds and then power wishes together and then you get boma on like a villain's team mix of space traveling warriors and inhuman deeds i guess to be fair a lot of these characters are on space traveling warriors huh but like i think that would be quite cool Maybe instead of like sp space traveling warriors, that's like the 200% and then they add, I guess, terrifying conquerors. I don't know. Um, either way, this guy could have a good leader skill, I think for sure. So that could be really interesting. Um, Lord Slug could really help a lot of these villain teams too. So I'm thinking Lord Slug would be quite a good addition uh, for a team just in general, just for all these teams. All right. So this is light Z uh, like Grenade Piccolo. So Piccolo, I feel like of the characters, like if we're going to rate these characters, like in a list, I would say Piccolo is a character that doesn't really need anything new. I mean, we did get a lot of Piccolo love throughout 2022, especially, and some in 2023 as well. Like right at the end of 2022, we did get Orange Piccolo and his presence was like felt known. But like, you could say this guy could easily get a redo. His animation is not like the greatest ever and it's not like this guy can't necessarily be replaced because he's just an easy A character. His animations are nice though, but they're nothing like special. I think like an LR version of this guy would be really cool. Like again, even just like an April LR or something. Maybe we get a new first form cell Dokkan Festival or something and then or like a 17 Dokkan Fest. Like we, we don't have like a Dragon Ball Z 17 Dokkan Fest character. So what if it's like a, like a like a May Dokkan Fest? It's like a, like a a seventeen Dokkan Festival in May, and then like where the Turtle Spot was last year, and then we get a Piccolo Dokkan Fest or an LR. I mean, for the second half of the month, like that something like that could be really interesting. And I'm gonna make a like a, I'm gonna make a video by the way like this week talking about or next week talking about my actual final guesses for Dokkan Fest this year. By the way. And it's going to be like in a timeline. And then at the end of the year, I'm going to go back and look at that video and see how many of my guesses are right. Like maybe if I at least got the Dokkan Festival, maybe it doesn't have to be the exact same spot. But like just like a, a roadmap of like my guesses for what we could see during this year. I think that could be good. Try to incorporate a lot of characters that I think need help. And, you know, looking at the characters here will actually help me out with that. But I mean, I feel like Piccolo doesn't necessarily need too much though i guess like in terms of piccolo named characters it's like this character could be used in a lot of fights but i could see like ninth anniversary power creep aids this guy out because of the fact that you know already he's kind of weak here in this first form and then you want to stay above an hp threshold to transform to him and if you don't get that that could be an issue 70 percent is a little restrictive uh, this guy is really crazy still, but it's like, it's not like this guy can't be power crept. Um, and then this character is like, he's able to work well, but we could use a, a new Piccolo. So I, 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 like, while I don't think we need one, I think we can get one. I think it would be fair, right, to get a new Piccolo like that. This character hasn't been represented, uh, like this light grenade since the 2019. So I think it would be nice to get a new version. Again, over five years, right? That'd be quite cool. A Super Saiyan Vegito LR that doesn't have to transform or fuse. Now, Super Vegito is a character that also just like a standalone Super Vegito, something that we haven't gotten in a long time. And I think that like we can like if we're talking about worldwide celebration, I think that's something we can see. Tanabata like could be just a standalone Super Vegito, something like that. Like in one of those time frames is what I'm thinking. I don't think anniversary though will be fusions this year um which is really weird because usually they go like the odd anniversaries like every other year they go from fusions to goku and vegeta um i'm thinking this year again ultra instinct goku and then beast gohan is my guess for anniversary this year but we'll see how they want to actually take that now 
with Super Vegito. Um, you see here, the last time we got a standalone one was, again, this physical one. It would be very nice to just get a standalone Super Vegito card. You know what's really, like, this sounds really weird to say. I feel like if, if we're going to get, like, a standalone Super Vegito or Blue Vegito that is just Super Vegito, Blue Vegito, it probably wouldn't be during World Winter Anniversary, no. The reason why I'm thinking it probably wouldn't be like that is because during Anniversary and Worldwide, that's when they bring out these brand new mechanics. And because that's like when they bring out these brand new mechanics, I feel like that would be like the case of them. Like that's why they're always like fusing characters nowadays, right? Because they want them to fuse or they want them to like have some type of mechanic, right? Like that. Um, but so like, w would it be more likely if like they're like a dope not best to you are or that comes out like i don't know like in november or something random and like it's like that's like where they'll be actually uh, fused together because that's like where they get selling better i don't know um maybe that sounds insane but uh, like they usually like getting these new mechanics out right or making them fuse i would say though i actually don't expect a super video this year maybe i feel like 10th anniversary i have an idea for like 10th anniversary i'm picking up and maybe like later down like the line like months from now i'll make a video expressing what i think right once we well, we have to get past ninth anniversary first then we'll talk but i'm thinking like what if it's like a goku and vegeta like a pairing of goku and vegeta in both cards right like uh i don't know it could be a super saiyan goku and vegeta then maybe even a, another blue goku and vegeta or maybe they'd have a different name somehow but then it's like you could choose with both of them. You could transform to Super Vegito or Super Gogeta. Then, like with the like Dragon Ball Super version, you could transform into Blue Gogeta, or Blue Vegito, and then like you could choose which ones you want to transform into for the rest of the fight um, with some sort of like new mechanic. That could be really cool. And then like part two is like again it's Dragon Ball Super Broly, and then because we already have like a Fusion's monster, then Buhan I think would be really good as well other than that you're like physical large number would easy a tech super gogeta s tier super Vegito, physical boot tanks and then it's like whew, that could be really crazy for a 10th anniversary that would be a big one um but yeah that's getting off track uh vegeto we could see a vegeto do i think that we'll likely see a vegeto i would say actually probably not i'm thinking again 10th anniversary for like these the big fusions right uh, this is Garlic Jr. So, Garlic Jr. I mean, he could definitely get a Dokkan Fest for sure. But I feel like, I don't know, something about Garlic Jr. I'm not feeling Garlic Jr. for this year. I I, I feel like, like, at least he's gotten something, like, in 2021. Which is why I'm like, you know, he did get something. Maybe if we were to get, I, I, I we could still get a Dokkan Fest Garlic Jr. because he sucks, right? But I'd rather characters that haven't had representation since like 2017, 2019 be the type of characters we talk about. If that makes sense, like Slug is a character that hasn't gotten representation. Like Slug has like no good animations. Like no, no like genuinely like relatively like decent animations, right? Lord Slug like doesn't have that. So <laughs> um I think that's where we could potentially see lord slug but yeah uh that's it for garlic jr there there's a couple of responses here okay we'll talk about the characters that we haven't seen baby majin boo again majin boo is another character that deserves to get something when's the last time we received a majin boo character man i genuinely don't remember there's a lot of boo easy a's is it is it under Majin Buu? Is, is that it? Uh, trying to find Buu. Yeah, it is under Majin Buu. I mean, the last Buu character we received was Super Buu of last year. This guy could still be potentially decent. If we start getting a lot of Majin Buu Saga enemies, like if we get a Majin Buu Saga Red Zone, this guy could potentially be 
a runnable character there, right? I think that's for sure. Maybe if we... Hmm, again, a Fused Fighters Red Zone could potentially be a thing as well. Maybe it wouldn't be Red Zone. Maybe it'd just be a Fused Fighters event. But like a Majibu Saga Red Zone easily could be something we see for Majibu Saga Celebration. Even if he's fighting against other boos. That would count. But besides that, before him it was... Um, Esther Kid Boo. Yeah, it was S Terra Kid Boo. I don't know. I think uh, there's a lot of boos that are in contention for getting their EZA. We have Tech Exchange Boo. This guy, actually, one of the oldest bounty unit characters without an EZA. 2018. He was one of the oldest bounty units, I think, without an EZA. Uh, is what I'm thinking about off the top of my head. Isn't there, the, like, a physical boo tanks right here? This guy, well, both of them. This guy needs an easy A. This banner unit boot tanks has never gone to easy either. I think Majibu this year. Just in general, Majibu Saga could get a lot. And I, th I would love to get a new Buhan. Maybe, if not this year, during 10th anniversary. We'll see, we'll see. But Majibu definitely deserves some love. I think even if it's just a fat boot Dokkan Fest. This guy never got a Dokkan Fest. And I think he deserves to get a Dokkan Fest, right? Just fat boot. Technically, I, I guess he did get a Dokkan Fest. If we're technically saying... He did receive a deal kind of fest with this character, but like an actual like fat boo from the fight against Deborah and Majin Vegeta, I think would work out quite well. Well for like a failure deal kind of fest and it would help the team out. Yeah, Final Form Frieza, if you guys don't know, Final Form Frieza has never received a Dokkan Festival. Um I believe, yeah, just Final Form Frieza as a character name. Yep, no Dokkan Festival for Frieza Final Form, which is, I mean, is he more iconic than Full Power Frieza? I think at this point, yep. I would say he is, this Final Form Frieza is more iconic than, like, Full Power Frieza would be. And he's never received a Dokkan Fest, he's never received an LR. He's only gone banner units. <laughs> it's been all banner units and free to play characters. Nothing premium. Not even a yellow corn alarm. This guy deserves to get something. I would love. Like, what if it's. I mean, even if it's like a do. Like, worldwide celebration does Namek Saga again. Let's say that as an example. Like a final form Frieza that transforms into full power Frieza. And then. A Kaioken Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan Goku. I think that would be perfectly fine with me. As like an LR Duel Dokkan Festival. Then we get an EZA for the Intinamic Goku. And then the AGL Full Power Frieza. That would be really, really sick. I think, uh, yeah, again, that would be an absolutely wonderful idea. Um, For like a worldwide celebration as well. Maybe, would that be something I want to see? I would have to look at what EZAs that we have for Namek Saga. I'm sure there's a lot of them. Like, technically, they all came out in, like, 2021, but for these special, like, worldwide celebrations, they can likely just step ahead and do something like that. I think that's perfectly fine. We'll see, though, uh, how they want to go ahead and handle Namek Saga this year. I would assume, like, Namek Saga, they wouldn't even get a Namek Saga Dokkan Fest last year. We got one in, with Ginyu in 2022, but I don't believe, like, we got a Namek Saga Dokkan Festival in 2023 at all. Like, let me double check the category. Maybe that's a video I should make. Most disrespected categories that, in 2022, that need help, because there's been a lot of them. Nope, we did not get a single Namek Saga release in 2023. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely zero. Uh, we got Cell Saga, we got Boo Saga, do we, do we get Saiyan Saga? Uh, I don't remember if we got Saiyan Saga, but Yamcha was like right at the end of 2022. Uh, no, we did get Saiyan Saga, Gohan and Piccolo. Let's see, Dragon Ball Super, didn't really get a lot, I'll, honestly though, to be fair, but Dragon Ball Super did get a couple of stuff there, just in general. Goku Black Saga, oh yeah, I lied, we got, we got Goku Black Saga, we got Tournament of Power, um... We didn't get, like, you know, we got Battle Gods, even. Resurrection F didn't get anything, but, like, we got Resurrection F the previous year. So, uh, like, Frieza Saga is, like, the like the oldest, like, saga that hasn't been updated. So, I think uh, Frieza, they, I think, like, Namek Saga would work really well as, like, a major celebration. 
yeah, we talked about Broly Lord Slug, Super Saiyan Kaioken, and PyCon. Yeah, I mean, just talking about that, PyCon hasn't gone to Dokkan Fest since EGO PyCon. Um, we know that Super Saiyan Kaioken got one character, right, that uh, released in... What is that? That was... That was during the second anniversary year, so that's what... Was that 2018? Let me, let me take a look here. Goku. Uh, Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku. Let, let me see. Let me see here. Goku Angel Kaioken. Yeah, long name. This character is like Upcoming Kronizia. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 2018. 2017. Did he come out in 2018 for JP? I guess he did. That's so bizarre. So he's a 2017 unit. Because he came out on Global like a very long time before JP. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that. Huh. I guess that's why he's so much better. Thank God. I'm getting old. I'm forgetting these things from, I don't know, I guess like, to be fair, it was like six, seven years ago. <laughs> um, Beast Gohan, Ultra Instinct. I, I don't want to tap in too much into these two. Or like, you know, these more popular characters. But yeah. Gohan from the Bo Broly movie. Gohan from Bojack, Super Saiyan Goku versus Broly. Again, I think I agree with all of these, that's for sure. Uh, all of those I definitely agree with. Let's take a look at some quote tweets here. 20 second World Tournament, 10 Shinhan. I 100% I agree. I think that is something that we could see. 10 Shinhan has not gotten like anything, right? I mean, no Dokkan Fest. We got a ban unit from the 23rd World Tournament, Go. Uh, you know, with the 23rd World Tournament. Well, Junior, right? He was the man unit there, but he's not, like, particularly, like, great. He didn't really stand out. He, like, is a decent character if you get the RNG off, but it was, like, 22nd World Tournament TN, basically what this guy's doing. He is a villain's character. He doesn't really have villain links, though, but, like, he could work both with my Junior, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what they do with, like, a 22nd Budokai Tenkai GTN. Again, they're all extreme class, right? Cold Judgment could be interesting if he has. I mean, yeah, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Cold Judgment, Fierce Battle. There are some villain units that have Cold Judgment that we could, like, get characters for. Like, Hit as a character that we can get something for. You know, these heroes characters have Cold Judgment, right? So, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't be that great of a link for villain teams. But, like, he can link well with my junior at the bare, bare minimum, right? That could be interesting. Yeah, if only that chain had big bad bosses. I think that'd be cool. Like, why can't he have big bad bosses, actually? Like, they could give him big bad bosses if they wanted to. He was, he was pretty much the big bad boss of, like, that 22nd World Tournament. But he wasn't necessarily, like, well, I, I, don't know, I can't even say he wasn't necessarily evil. Like, what, when he broke Yamcha's leg, he was an assassin. So, I mean, I feel like, yeah, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's see, again, yeah. Final Form Frieza, Super Vegito. For sure. Khalifa, Kefla, Evil 21. I think I don't think we would see Evil 21. But Khalifa and Kefla, again, the Universe 6 gals, specifically Khalifa and Kefla. We need more of. I can think of it off the top of my head. Ultra Instant Goku, again, 9th anniversary, yeah. A character whose name includes Vegeta. Yeah, when's the last standalone Vegeta we've gotten? Like, you know, I I don't want to touch on, like, the Saiyans, like, that much. But, like, Vegeta is such a big character. We got, like, so many Gokus this year. What's the last standalone Vegeta? There's no way it was this guy, right? There's no, no, we, we, like as a premium unit, not a brand unit, like a Dokkan Fest or LR. When's the last standalone Vegeta we got? That was a premium character. Like you, you summoned for him as a Dokkan Festival. I think Maj and Vegeta came out after this guy. Okay, Maj and Vegeta. Was it Int, Maj and Vegeta? Because I don't think we got a single one in 2023. 20, um, I mean, technically, but I don't really want to count that as like a standalone Vegeta because we uh, we know the base form, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Lemma Breaker, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, you can kind of count, but I don't know. He, was, he sucked, but I guess, you know, I count Vegito, Super Saiyan 4, Lemma Breaker, Vegito as a Dogon Fest. So I guess I would count this guy too, but I mean, I guess Limit Breaker Vegeta, but even if you're counting this guy, that's over two years ago. This, well, no, it's, it's over one year ago. It's still a whole year plus since we got our last time on Vegeta. And if we're counting this guy, 
only. It's about to be two years. So, um, Vegeta, we need Vegeta love. Like, what, what could we get? Like, uh, okay, what I'm thinking, I would Joe Convince one from 2020, uh, three actually, was a transforming Vegeta with Andrew 19, like an Andrew 19 Vegeta, uh, you know, from that fight specifically, right? I think that would be a great Dokkan Festival choice. That could that could be good, uh, like an Andrew 19 fight Vegeta. I don't know what Dokkan Fest this is, but Urunai Baba. Okay, I'm not sure what you mean by this. Like a, a Dokkan Fest of all these guys, or like a celebration maybe? I, I guess based around this, I think that'd be cool. I hope you take that. Yeah, Golden Week of Tanabata. I'm thinking worldwide could be this. Again, honestly. Worldwide 2014 header against Super Saiyan 2 Gohan hasn't gotten anything in a while. I would feel like it's fine. Another new Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay. Fusions and Beast to be standalone, not transforming. Okay, that's fair. And then a new UI Goku. Okay. More Janebas. And we have Gojo's cat. Janebas would be cool. Bardock and Goku. I mean, yeah, Legends got Bardock and Goku. I, I could see Dokkan getting Bardock and Goku. I think that's fair. LR Kefla, a Nappa Dokkan Fest, I think would be fair. Like, consistently buffing these different sagas, I think would be a good idea. Giving Nappa something, you know, maybe make him a really good support. I, I'll take that. Broly. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of these. Like, Big Bang Attack Vegeta. Dokkan Original Super Gogeta. Okay. Super Broly, Selak Tien, Super Baby 2, Buhan Butang, Spinal Fire Frieza, Namek Saga, Krillin. Yeah, Krillin is a character that I should get a Dokkan Fest. Has Krillin, like, gone anything? No. As a Dokkan Fest? No. Or a premium unit? No. Nothing. Um, we got one for Yamcha. I think Krillin could get one. I think Tien should get one. All the Earthlings, specifically, I think should be getting something, hopefully. I like that quite a bit. Okay, Kremlin Dokkan Fest. At least, like, this guy is, like, really good compared to the physical uh, Tien, right? I think that's, like, a very broad comparison. Um, let's look at a couple more. Rosé and Vegeta for Golden Week. I think this would be a pretty good choice. Further buffing Future Saga. Or it could be, like, what if it's, like, Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta. And then Rosé in Part 2 as an LR. And then make him, like, Boma in that slot. I think that would be sick. Okay. Yeah, that's a great Golden Week, maybe. Even if it's Vegeta versus Rosé, then I don't know what the Part 2 LR could be. Maybe the Part 2 LR could be either a Zamasu or Goku Black, which would be preferred, probably. Or the Super Saiyan Trunks and Super Saiyan Blue Goku, maybe. And then it's like he has the like the Rage like form active skill where it's like just Blue Goku in his Rage mode. We'll see. Okay, uh, we'll read this one because there's a couple of them and then it's the last one we'll see. Android 18 definitely deserves the Dokkan Fest. Again, another Android's buff would be really good. I think, yeah, Android 18 is a character that should get a Dokkan Fest as well. I think she deserves one. He doesn't have one. Look at how many characters he has. No Dokkan Fest. Besides, unless she's, unless she's with 17. That's like the only time she gets a Dokkan Fest. Uh, or an LR. I think that she should get one just by herself. Baby up. Demon King Piccolo again, I explained, but... I'm going to bring up Demon King Piccolo because I, I, I love Demon King Piccolo. Would it be here? Yeah, he is. Just right here. Uh, hello. Give us give us a good one. That'd be nice. And then this guy might get his easy this year, I guess. Right? No, it'd be the Yamcha. I think the Yamcha and Puar get their easy. And then this guy. So I guess it wouldn't really matter. Because Yamcha and Puar came up before this character. We got the Tien and Chiaotu. But then I think after Tien and Chiaotu, we did get Yamcha and Puar, right? Yeah, 2018, this guy's 2020, yeah, for sure. There's another character between them, even. Okay, <clears throat> that's fine. I guess it's going to be a while before his EZA. Uh, but I, will, I would just love a new Demon King Piccolo. Blue launch into blonde launch. Launch doesn't he, like have a Don't Confess either. I think launch would be a cool choice. I, I could see that. Like, a, like what if it's like a start of March Don't Confess? It's a launch. I, I'd, be, I'd be fine with that. Like a post... Post anniversary is usually not like some exciting mega good character, right? Gen generally, so it's not like some saint, right? Like more, most of the player base would be excited. First time Super Saiyan Vegeta, I agree. First of Final Form Frieza, yes. 20 times Kalkin Goku, Lord Slug, yeah. Again, we all have like very similar ideas of what should be Dokkan Fest this year and what doesn't really need one. Um, so hopefully we see a lot of new characters. I think that, 
I think for like the hype moments, we should see yeah, like Namek Saga, maybe some extra future saga stuff in there, like the blue go the blue Vegeta and uh Rose fights. Um a tournament of power, superhero, right? Those kind of exciting things, but uh, again, we we all know we want Beast Gohan. We want Ultra Instinct Goku. But I want to talk about what characters deserve representation. That's the point of this video, kind of, more so. And then I'm probably going to make a roadmap of what I would like to see. Yeah, for 2024. Uh, maybe I could even do something where it's like... Let's say these characters deserve units the most. I don't know. It's, well, we'll see. I think that roadmap basically is what that's going to be anyway. So that might be tomorrow's video. Uh, cause Dokkan is going to be kind of dry. GP Dokkan was like we, on the fourth in two days, we get, um, the tech tape on sub EZA, a Dragon Ball story, and then a free to play EZA. And that's it for like a long time. So this is going to be getting a lot of speculation videos, tier lists, etc. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any ideas, if you, anything you want me to see, uh, just record, I guess, just watch me talk about, I'll catch you guys in the next one though. Peace out.